producing a large, dangerous, wedged tornado. And we're not seeing any indication as of right now that that has weakened just yet. Still an indication of a very strong, violent tornado occurring here. County Road 128, County Road 89, just south of 227. And again, we're getting that live look at changing conditions here on the WVTM 13 Live Doppler. Your three minute advantage showing you that well-defined hook. You see all the heavy rain, some hail up to the north, but that hook and the debris ball situated right on the left But Adrian, where the uh, the tornado is at the moment, basically right on top of Highway 119 and heading north and east, kind of at through the uh, Meadowbrook uh, subdivision and then heading over toward Highway 280. So watch as I go back and forth between those two uh, data, yeah, the it National is. Weather Service yeah. and the debris signature, and then the live radar data right now, basically showing the tornado on top of Indian Springs there on the, on Highway 119 in Shelby County. Damn it, I was just there. And there Adrian. it is. Yeah, yeah right obviously there. a very scary situation right now. Uh, this confirmed tornado, large and extremely dangerous, considerable damage likely occurring, and it's passing over a highly populated area. So you can see the debris yeah. signature still showing up right along Highway 119, Indian Springs Village getting affected by this very strong tornado. Uh, again, and you need to be in your safe place anywhere up and down 119 right now. There's Meadow Garden laying there off in the distance, still seeing that hook echo and a debris ball signature showing up. Right here is our tornado and it's moving into this area right now. So uh, unfortunately, this is a, a, a considerable tornado on the ground affecting a highly populated area here through portions of Shelby County. Jerry? And Adrian, the debris ball at times is very prominent on there, showing us exactly where this storm is and where it's causing damage. As Steph and Adrian were saying, right along Highway 119 at the current time, Indian Springs Village moving northeastward, moving northeastward very quickly, speeds up to 45 miles per hour. For the time being, it's tracking pretty much parallel or on 119. It'll be close to Southern Drive here very shortly, getting close to Double Oak Lane as well, moving in that fashion, as you can see, right up 119. By the way, not ignoring the Pickens County storm, that appears to be strengthening as uh, each radar sweep comes in. But there's where this storm is over Shelby County, over the area around Indian Springs Village, paralleling or right on top of 119 and moving across like show. Like so, Caldwell Mill Lane, it'll be very close to you in a matter of a couple of minutes, maybe one or two minutes, and continuing to move along. A lot of noise on here because we're close to the radar site, but you can see here where the debris tracker is. And again, that's debris being picked up off the ground, lofted into the air, and then it falls back down. And that creates the uh, debris tracker here, right in through this general vicinity here, moving along Caldwell Mill Road, as you can see. You then switch to the line. Data and you can see how the uh, storm is uh, obviously moving along, making progress on Caldwell Mill Road or very close to it, and continues to press like this off toward the northeast, moving toward Oak Mountain State Park. Really, it's probably already gone very close to Oak Mountain Amphitheater. Uh, if it missed it, it didn't miss it by much. Uh, but there's 119. This very dangerous situation, large and extremely dangerous tornado on the ground right now. And of course, we're tracking it here on the WVTM 13 Live Doppler, getting that minute by minute look at these changing conditions. And uh, unfortunately, things have changed for the worst. I think that's it. Uh, I'm trying right there, to. Uh, Skin Park High School. There's Cahaba Valley Trace yeah, again. I think we're team, so right going here that way, right? Is the area of yeah. greatest concern now, passing Be careful. Yeah, I'm going to sit right here. Road. Uh, and right on top of uh, Cahaba Valley Trace. Uh, and so this storm is moving northeast at about 45 miles an hour. We've been talking about this throughout the day. Yeah. You don't. Uh, it's certainly, um, it's hard to see because we can't see through the bottom ridge, but nonetheless, you're looking at 119 Shelby County. There's a picture of the storm, oh, obviously, as it continues God. to track through that part of Shelby County. Now, again, one thing that's misleading about tornadoes, and, and you have to be careful, unless you're on top of it, you cannot see what it's doing on the ground. There's a little ridge. This highway 119, the power line is not live. It's so been tested and it came right over 119. And it's headed over towards... Uh, Your three minute advantage, giving you a minute by minute look at these changing conditions. So this is the Eagle Point neighborhood in, uh, in, in, Al in Birmingham, near Birmingham, Alabama. And this is where, where the tornado came through. It looks like it was about uh, an AF3 and uh, something else. Uh, 
This is one of the tornadoes that crossed over uh, 119 um, on 280. And I want to say Eagle Nest neighborhood. Um, and it appears to be a, probably an EF3, a high EF3. Um, so the bark's still intact. But it hit pretty hard. You can, um, I've seen branches stuck, sticking straight into the side of houses and stuff like this. But, uh, so yeah, this, uh, I followed this one, um, and uh, watched it come this way but then it knocked a tree down and I couldn't get to the neighborhood but uh th this was devastated